Good afternoon, Green Wave fans. This is Kelly Camardo, new host of the Fear the Wave cast, and I'm joined today by Jimmy Ordno. Jimmy, good to have you here. Yeah, happy to be here, Kelly, and, and our new adventure, I guess, in the world of uh, college athletics in 2021. Almost Pretty quick. exciting. Pretty exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. So uh, we're here today to make a couple of announcements. First off, that uh, Jimmy's going to have a new show brought to you by Fear the Wave. It's going to be the JKO podcast or whatever Jimmy decides to name it. Um, we'll get into that in a minute. We also wanted to talk a little bit about expansion of the Fear the Wave cast. We're going to be doing more podcasts throughout the course of the year um, on different subjects, and we're going to try to get as much fan involvement as possible. So that's going to be something to look forward to. And we also uh, let loose on Twitter last week that there's going to be an NIL deal uh, through Fear the Wave. So that's something we're really excited about where we can, um, you know, try to help Tulane athletics and Tulane student athletes directly. So that's something uh, I know Jimmy and I are both really excited about, and we can't wait to make an announcement as soon as everything is uh, ready and together, and, and we can bring that to the public. So Jimmy, tell me a little bit about your podcast. Sure. Um, and so I, look, I, um, I, I uh, ran it by my expert uh, marketing committee, my family and and most of my family, and they tell me the Jimmy O Show has a better ring to it, so I think that'll be the name of it. There we uh, go. Uh, and and really, it's a what I envision, Kelly, and it'll be a work in progress as we become more technologically savvy and learn how to bring in things like chalk talk or some blackboard time and all those other things. But but at, at its core, uh, what I want to do is focus and highlight Tulane student athletes, and and let's. Let's take a step back because we always look at you know recruiting pages and things and, and they're almost like a commodity but you know less than two percent of high school football players play division one sports when you're looking at two lane which is you know top 60 ish recruiting classes the last few years and in fbs level you're talking about a, a 99 percentile athlete coming out of high school who goes on to come to a top 40 university, graduates from that university at about a 90 plus percent clip. Um, and they chose Tulane. They chose New Orleans. That right there, those factors, to me, form the basis of something that should be interesting to a Tulane fan base for New Orleans residents to want to know more about these individuals. And, and so at its core, what we're looking to do is to highlight these stories of the individuals. I'm a believer that all of God's creatures have some compelling aspect to them. And much like Sean Payton says, there's a way to win every, every NFL game. If you, you figure out the formula, I think if I can ask the right questions, we can tell compelling stories about really these extraordinary individuals and, and do it in a way that, that people find interesting. And also, and more importantly, to our mission for Fear the Wave and, and the NIL front is, is to play a small piece in promoting these individuals so that they do have a bigger brand, uh, a, a more recognized brand that will enhance their ability to make money off their name, image, and likeness. It all sounds great. I know you have a already have a big guest lined up for your first podcast. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. So uh, tonight, um, meeting with Coach Fritz. This will be a little different than the the, the Jimmy O Show format where we're highlighting players, but uh, shameless uh, uh, prestige uh, grabbing uh, or writing Coach Fritz's name to sort of promote this show. And so he graciously agreed to be our first guest. And so we'll really get into it and you'll get, I think our fans and viewers will get a sense for how the show will proceed with the players in terms of, um, you know, like a, it's going to be a long form format where we kind of get into some topics, not just strictly, you know, about what happened on the field. Um, but we'll use Coach Fritz to sort of as a launching point. We're hoping that his involvement early on will encourage Tulane Nation to sort of jump on board and get behind this project so that when the players start coming on, that there are viewers there and people to tune in and watch them. That all sounds great. I know that uh, we're all looking forward to hearing more about the individual players, Coach Fritz, maybe some of the coaches on the staff, and getting a better idea of who they are, where they came from, and, you know, who's behind that face mask, really? 
So I think that all Tulane fans should be excited about the content that we're, we're getting ready to bring you. Um, we're getting ready to flood the airwaves, flood YouTube. Uh, we just set up a YouTube channel. Uh, we'll, we'll have our podcasts on all the Apple, Mu- Apple iTunes, Apple Music, wherever you can get uh, podcasts, you'll be able to find us. So look out for more announcements from us, especially this NIL announcement. And uh, we, we look forward to bringing you some high quality content here. Um, we're, we're always open to suggestions. If you have any questions, suggestions, comments, you can feel free to email us at fearthewavecast at gmail.com and look out because, you know, we're, we're going to be coming with uh, some, some pretty good guests. I know we have some former baseball players lined up. We have some athletic administrators lined up. It's going to be a really uh, interesting spring, and uh, we're, we're hoping to build momentum towards the summer and the next football season. So, Jimmy, I, I really appreciate your involvement, and I look forward to working with you some more. Yeah, man, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Kelly, thank you for all you've been doing behind the scenes to push Tulane forward, and I hope to work with you to move this thing up, you know, into a, a – um, sort of a stratosphere we haven't seen yet in terms of visibility and publicity of our program. Thanks, Jimmy. Okay, buddy. Thank you.